Hi, good morning. It is, uh, it is another terrific day here at Harrison Elementary in Miss Hamilton's pre-K class. I'm so excited that you're here to do the number of the day with me. We are gonna start first with doing our calendar and then we'll move over to our number of the day. And you know what, guys? I have a new number for you. Yeah, it's one we haven't, we haven't looked at before. So that's gonna be exciting. I can't wait to share it with you. So let's go ahead and talk about our calendar. Today, friends, let me show you. Today is t -t 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 Tuesday. So let's put that up right here and we can read it together. Today is Tuesday. Read it with me. Today is Tuesday. Who remembers what month it is? Do you remember? It's j j j January. Some of my friends had birthdays in January. So happy birthday, guys. If your birthday's in January, you're five years old now. Today is Tuesday, January, and here's the number we're putting on. 26. Awesome. We're going to put it right here next to 25. I'm going to get my pointer and we are going to count all the way to 26. Are you ready? Remember, follow the pointer. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Excellent counting. Today is Tuesday, January the 26th. And are you ready for our number of the day? Oh, wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. I think you're gonna know this number, but we've never put it on our number of the day chart before. Here it is, here it is. Do you know that number? Oh, think about it. Think about it. Do you know that number? It's number 11. It's number 11. One of your classmates has this number, number 11. Yeah. So we're going to fill out our number of the day chart using number 11. It's easy peasy to make a number 11. It's one and a one. One and a one, 11. I'm gonna show you this card again. And at the bottom of the card, it says the word 11. What letter do you see first? E, E, U, U, E, V, V, E, N, 11. Wow, 11 has a lot of letters in it. How many letters are in that word? One, two, three, Four, five, six letters are in the word 11. This is the number 11. This is the word 11. Now I need to do 11 counters on my 10 frame. Watch this because I'm gonna have to use three rows this time. We've never used three rows before. Are you ready? You can help me count. One, two, three, oops, drop that one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and where's number 11 going to go? I, it can't go right here. Yeah, I'm going to start a new row right here. Ten, 11. So I've got the top row full, the next row is full, and then I started on the third row. I have 11 counters. Now I need 11 tally marks. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Closes the gate. Little space. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Does it again. Little space. One, five, ten. One more makes 11. I need to make 11 pictures. And I think I'm gonna do it 
kind of like they look like on a domino. So watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven circles, eleven pictures. I'm going to find number eleven. It's the one, it's the number that has two ones. One, one, eleven. Now I'm ready to do my eleven jumps. So you can jump with your hand, or since you're at home, you can stand up and jump on your feet if you want to. But make sure that you only jump one time for each number. So it's like this. One, two. You're not going to jump like this because that's too fast. We're not counting that fast. Jump each time we say a number. You ready? Ready? Here we go. One. Oh, my marker didn't work. Start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whew. If you were jumping, you might be out of breath. That's a lot of jumping. Eleven. Eleven. All right, I'm just going to show you one way, one way, friends, to make eleven. Just one way today. We'll learn another way tomorrow. Let me show you one way to make eleven. Let me get my board. I got it right here. Let me come back on the other side. And we're going to try to make eleven. Do you know what? I'm going to have to use this side of the board because I need two 10 frames. Let's see how to make 11. Remember, I'm just going to show you one way today. You're being so patient while Miss Hamilton gets it ready. All right, you're going to have to look really close. How many red counters do you see? Oh, it's kind of tricky, isn't it? Well, I have one full row, that's five, and one more is six. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six red counters. How many blue counters do you see? Nope, there's not six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five blue counters. Wow. How many counters do I have all together? If I put the red and the blue together, how many counters do I have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good counting. So that means six red and five blue give me eleven counters. Can you say that? Six red plus five blue equals 11 counters. Six plus five equals 11. Good job. So I kind of gave you a hint. Tomorrow our number is going to be 11 again and we're going to learn another way to make 11. That's exciting, because we haven't talked about 11 before. So it's exciting to learn a new number. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see how we make 11 tomorrow. You might be thinking about it and see if you can get an idea of what you think Miss Hamilton might do tomorrow on Wednesday. I'll see you guys then.